Hi everybody, today I will present you Tammy the Hippopotamus made on my Adi Express king size 46 needle. First I will cast on the machine with the yarn, one in the front, one in the back for the first row. I start at the black needle to make sure that the row counter counted. Open the yarn feeder, close it, and then I will go for 100 rows of violet or purple like you, you want. So we'll put that a little bit faster, like this. And when my work st start to touch the table, I will roll it like this. So time to cast off. To cast off, I cast, I cast, I cut my yarn, and I will crank my machine like this. So the yarn was not in the yarn feeder. So now it's released from the machine. I have to grab it with the wool needle stitch by stitch be careful you don't want to lose any stitches because if you lose one you will end up with the drop stitch and it's not fun so i will go and remove it like this put that a little bit quicker could be nice to be fast like that in real life <laughs> hmm. so it's almost finished time to put that aside stretch 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 time to close both sides to do that I just pull on the tail of yarn make sure that the stitches are all inside I push that with my thumbs it's like this part is like when we do a double at double layer at so I will secure it by grab stitches around like this there and I will close it like this Stretch it, pull that like we did for the first one, and with the wool needle, I will grab some stitches and do the knot like this. there there and a knot stretch it and then you put your ends in it and you join the other side And with the wool needle, we will go and pass through the tail in the middle to reach the other middle outside. So go inside like this, reach the outside, and attach those two tails together to secure it, just like you do a double layer hat. Prevent your your two uh, layer to move this I will count now I will go 25 rows down and that will be the neck of the hippopotamus Miss Tammy don't be upset for the name it's my little girl that cho choose that one she liked the name Tammy so she decided the hippopotamus is cute like a Tammy so I said okay so I did the 25 rows for the neck so that will do the head and I will grab with my wool needle every two stitch like this and I will stay on the same row. Very important. This. Put that a little bit faster. And I will reach the other side. I will just go into a single knot. Just a single will help to close at the end. Put some stuffing for the head. Like this. Don't put too much in. Just a little bit by little bit. My uh, stuffing is very fluffy. So it could look like I put a lot. But it's not. It's very fluffy. That's it. So now it's time to close. You push your stuffing down in the head. And then you tie it. Make sure you don't tie it too much. Because if you you do you will end up broken your yarn 
So time to do the little ears. The hippopotamus ears are very small. So I decide to pinch just one layer and go in and in the back, in front, in the back, in front, in the back, and go over it like this and come back. So that yarn will grab the, the fabric and you will be able to pull like this and attach the knot and you got your first little ears you will do the same thing on the other side now this little ears the same thing you don't see it but sorry it's not in the right angle but the little ears is there so time to prepare to eye those tail that in the head cut the excess always be careful not to cut your work could be sad arrive right here to cut your work mm. so I will go like this and just pinch the two layer it's very important to take the two layer and I will go like I think it was five column a uh, four column four column and I will go down for ten rows just to give you an idea you have to go on the same column on both sides and then you come back like this you attach the starting and the ending point together we will add it later like this so we will do the other side like this yeah it's done ten rows so we'll do the same thing on the other side. That's why you see a TED on the screen. Then So you do the same thing for the second arms. You stay on the same column. Make sure you grab on the same column on the back, same column on the front. Oops, I lose it. Hmm. Sorry. See, things happen to me too. I was working two days on the edi editing of this video because my computer was always crashing. Lucky me, I really have to get some money on the side to buy a new computer. I always said it, but always something that happened that we have to pay so all the time you put some money aside <laughs> we go for something else we all have bills to pay eh? it's the reality to be an adult so we'll do and put some stuffing for the billy this and now I will close the bottom of it and I will go like I did for the the neck I will go and grab every two stitch with my wool needle like this don't worry sometimes it's not the right angle but I fix it with time there so I grab every two stitch like that And to close it, just have to pull on those two tips at the end. The starting and the ending point. Voila! Push a little bit more stuffing before you close it. <laughs> this could be a good idea. And pull it. like this the double knot and if you end up with a little hole like this you just grab again your wool needle and you will go around it grabbing every two stitch and then when we pull on it it will close it's like magic trick 
Sometimes it happens when the yarn is a little bit thicker. There. So it slows. You're able to continue your project either. And then you will continue with the legs. First I will eye those little tail and cut the excess. So time to do the legs. Just pinch it around uh, 10 rows. You pinch one side in the middle, go through and you follow the same column. Like this, you go like every two rows. If you do three, it's not the end of the world, don't worry, okay? And then you pull and you bring the yarn in the same stitch that where you start and you do a double knot like this and I those tail in the body part is done so voila the body is done now I will do prepare the little dress so I cast on the machine one in the front one in the back and for the pink we will need 25 rows for the little dress. Like this. Cut it. And cast off. Cast off, you cut your yarn. You do a 360 with your machine without the yarn in the yarn feeder, very important. And then you grab all the stitches one by one. like you do with the purple at the beginning of the video. This part of the video for the dress is going to be like the artist part to attach it together. If you're not comfortable with the sewing part together. But if you don't want to put the little dress it's up to you. You could do just a little bow or jump to the eyes and muzzle and it will be a little, a little boy hippopotamus so time to pull that out so you got your little tail of yarn we'll try to bring those two sides like the same um, same size so with the wool needle I will go and grab all the stitches like this one by one. I should do like a waist yarn for this one. That's why it's harder. Because you don't see all the stitches when I do it. It's easier when you see with the waist yarn. Sorry for that. But it's like I said. If you don't want to put the little dress. Don't do. It's your project. So I put that a little bit faster. To grab all the stitches a little bit more faster because <laughs> it's kind of long this part this part of the video it was long it took me a long time so when you have reached the point that you got all your stitches look like this you pull that a little bit just to fix it 
on the hippopotamus. So you put the dress just after the ends, the arms of your your toys. So I've I've did uh, fix it to make sure that it's like look good on the hippopotamus on Tammy. Hope nobody will get upset because the hippopotamus is called Tammy, but it was the idea of my uh, little girl. Sorry, I don't want to offend anybody, but she she think hippopotamus Tammy was very cute. So, so I attach it. It's a full grab, so you grab one full stitch on the dress and a full stitch on the belly and you keep going and if you're still here right now can you put Tammy on the comment please it will tell me that you watch it till here there I'll put that a little bit faster I told you that's uh, the part that is longer part was the dress. There. Almost finished. So I do the up and then I will go under the dress to make sure that it's very secure. So kids will be able to play with it and be comfortable. Not scared of it. There. Almost finished. Hide the tail, do a double knot, and voila, this part is done. Now it will do under it, and it will be the same thing like I did on the top. So you grab one part on the top, and you go grab on the body. I will put that a little bit faster because you already seen it on the top. There. Continue. After that, we still have to put the eyes and the muzzle not sure if I pronounce it that well for the muzzle continue She will be cute at the end. We still have to prepare the muzzle. I forgot to show it. See? Look good. Oh. So time to do the muzzle. For the muzzle that we need 20 rows. 20 rows. Time to remove it. I did that very fast because I already used the machine twice in this video so I think you understand that the cast on and cast off. This.
crank it a little bit to release all the stitches. So time to close. Be careful not too tight. Because for this part, I will just leave like a, like this. Like, I don't close it completely. If you do, it's not the end of the world, but it will be not the same result for the muzzle at the end. So I just go around like this with the wool needle and then I will come and do a double knot like this, tight. And I will do the same thing on the other side. There, it's done. So I will go and Attach it, keep myself a tail, and grab a full stitch here, and a full stitch on the other side. It's a horizontal and um, vertical sewing. You could use that technique on a lot of uh, projects. So I don't tie it right now, but I will pull on it at the end. It will be like very cute and a uh, nice invisible seams. So I'll grab a full stitch here and a, a stitch there. There. Pull, like I said. So now it's the opposite. You go horizontal on vertical. Grab a full stitch and grab a full stitch here. And it's very important to keep on the same column on the muzzle so that way your work will be nice. Take your time. You're not on a rush. If you're on a rush, it's not the perfect uh, project. <laughs> you need to be relaxed to do this one. There's not a lot of uh, pieces, but there are for a lot of technique. Be more comfortable. There. Oh, the ear is bothering me. <laughs> Always grab my yarn. <laughs> I continue like that, and then I will pull on the yarn when I arrive at the corner. Time to pull, 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 pull. There. And you pull every time you switch side on your square. <coughs> so the same thing here. And then I will pull on it. Now, time to take a break. And you will go and stuff your muzzle. Just attach this one to secure it there. And it's time to put a little bit of stuffing. Not too much, just a little bit. So the stuffing in here. So I will continue to sew now. Make sure I continue on the same column. And I will sew it. Almost finished. You see it's very important to keep a little tail when you start sewing a piece on your project. Because at the end, this little tail will help you to attach the beginning and the end of the work. And secure everything. So pull, pull, pull. Careful when you pull, you're holding it with the thumbs and, and finger to make sure you don't change the shape. So time to hide the little tail in the body of your toys this and then you cut the excess. Voila! Your, your hippopotamus look like this. Now, time to put the eyes and I'm not sure about this part. I was like, I put that in but maybe I should put that from the other side. 
but I'm maybe it's good than that. It's good like this. So we go and go twice on the same stitches all the time, okay? So I keep a tail at the beginning and we go bring it in the neck like this and I will bring the other tail in the same place in the neck and I will attach those two, those two tails together to secure it. Now time to do the second eyes. For the eyes I use a pencil so that way I could go keep a little tail it could go around like this and it won't change the shape of the hippopotamus like this because I just go around it and the eyes will be the same size. You just have to do the same amount of uh, circle around your crayon and you will be okay. So we'll take the tail, attach those two together this and then I will eye those tail in the head voila and it's done so time to do the little bow that I will add on the head at the end the little bow was uh, was was 15 rows 15 rows for the little bows 15 rows I forgot to put that on the screen but I say it twice so oh we'll be okay with that so like I said 15 rows I attached both side and I would just go a little bow like this cute and easy so now I will attach it on the head of Miss Tammy. So you yeah, graph, graph, you will do graft it on the head like this. So I grab a full stitch and a full stitch on the bow. And I will go that around it. And I keep it up because I like it up. If you'd like to do another way, do another way. Or if you have a piece of ribbon at home, you could do it with ribbon. Will work too. There. Almost finished. Happy that you watched the video with me. I will do some more. Don't worry. There's a video every week on my channel. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a comment. It's always fun to answer a question or see the happy face or little heart. It's like a nice way to say thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot when I have some response in the comment. I wish you all a, a great week and don't give up. Almost finished. All I have now is do a little knot and hide those tail and we'll be done. So see you soon for a new video. Ciao ciao, see you next week.